So is the Toyota Prius a good enough car for photography adventures? Let's find out. Let's talk about space. Can it contain all of your equipment? Let's see. But what if you have a lot more than just your camera bag? So this particular model is the 2016 and so I've had it for uh, over two years now. Is it comfortable? Yes. Does it give me any problems? Uh, to be honest, not really. Now, let's say you want to drive from Los Angeles to Nashville. Should you do it? Would you do it? Can you rely on the Prius to take you 2011 miles without having any issues whatsoever? Yeah, you should totally do it and I've done it uh, twice. One of the really awesome things about a cross-country trip with the Prius is the gas consumption. Because the Prius is a hybrid car, I get usually about 45 to 50 miles per gallon. So on my trip to Nashville, I paid about $300 uh, in gas round trip and I had no issues at all. You know, of course, uh, photographers don't always want to go and park in paved parking lots or go where most tourists are. So, is the Prius good enough for off-road adventures? Okay, so now for the one of the most important questions. Can you sleep comfortably in the Toyota Prius? Well, you know, it's at least it's important for me because I don't always love to pitch a tent. Let's let's check it out. See, you know, I, uh, I love nature, obviously, but uh, I don't care much for all the creepy crawlers and everything that could possibly get into my tent. Uh, and, you know, maybe a bear attack or, or whatever you can think of. So, I prefer to be in the car and uh, usually, you know, I close the trunk door so nothing gets in. Peace. 
just kidding, just kidding. The day is still young, we have to get home and, uh, you know, get some conclusions. Man, I'm such a wuss. Overall, I think the Toyota Prius is a pretty good car for many photography adventures, especially if you're going on what I call location scouting road trips. It's comfortable, it's uh, reliable, it's more environmentally friendly than other cars. You can sleep and work in it and it saves you money on gas. There are some drawbacks, of course, like if you really want to go to off-road locations, for example like strong winds and icy roads, you might want to get a stronger, more uh, reliable car for that. So, as much as I enjoy my Prius, I would definitely want to upgrade one day to a more uh, off-road suitable vehicle, something like a certain Jeep. Hopefully, it's going to be a hybrid, but we'll see, who knows. What do you think, Mr. Monkey? What do you guys think? Did this video help you at all? So, you know, just let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that uh, subscribe button um, somewhere below. Subscribe. So, uh, until the next time. <laughs>